Hey everybody and welcome to the end channel video blog and today what I want to talk about is my Heiko FX 888 soldering station and it's an amazing little unit and the two reasons why I bought it was the high reviews on it which I don't believe give it enough praise for what it is and secondly the price uh, for me I paid $90 which is awesome for me as a student because it's extremely affordable and it was not much you know of a loss for me and I'm really impressed by it. Um, like I said, I honestly don't think any of the reviews give it strong enough praise for what this thing is capable of doing for its price. Now, some of the features that it comes with are they're pretty basic. It's just an on-off switch and a variable temperature output. And the ranges are 200 to 480 degrees Celsius and 400 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a really nice diverse range which can do most of your soldering needs. I haven't run into any problems. I've you know wired, uh, soldered thick wires and stuff like that, as well as tiny leads, and it's always done well. As well as it's electric static discharge safe as well, which is a nice little feature. I work mainly in through hole components, so I don't have to worry about little things like um, circuits that can be damaged by you know electric static discharge. So it's a nice little feature, but I don't really use it. And another thing I really love about this off the get-go is how flexible this cord is. I've never had to fight it, and it's just really flexible, which is something that really goes well for me. It's just amazing to know that you don't have to struggle with the tool in order to make it work well. And I love the soldering stand that it comes with. I know it comes with the brass and the sponge and a lot too, but it's just one of those nice little features that you don't have to worry buying aftermarket for its price range. So it's a very good entry-level soldering station. And one of the main reasons why I'm really impressed by this unit is, like I said, what's inside of this and how it was designed. So what I want to do now is stop and just take this apart and show you what's going on inside. So let's actually bust this open and see what's inside. So as you can see, it's extremely basic, not a lot of components in there for what it does. And it's really solid and heavy, which is a really nice feature. I just like things that can really hold their own ground. And basically, the main component in this is just a step-down step transformer which is variable so it's multi-tap so if you need to change it over to different voltages if you're in a 220 country or 230 it's very easy to achieve and everything's grounded on the chassis which is a really nice feature and they just did a really good job making sure everything was well connected uh, no of these joints are actually uh, anything to complain about they're all extremely solid uh, right back here you can see how well this is connected to the actual thing and you don't have to worry about being tugged away and just like I said everything is extremely well connected on this unit and that's one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan this casting is just really sets it over the edge for me just how the rocker switch is actually embedded into it and all this it's just really solidly designed and it's just one of the most amazing soldering stations I've ever had to work with and if you're just getting into the hobby this might be a little bit overkill but it's well worth the money because you probably won't need to upgrade anytime soon. Hey everybody, I just want to say thanks for watching. And as you can already tell, the Heiko FX888 is well worth the money and I highly recommend it. I'm going to include where I bought it in the description below. So if you want to buy your own, this is the cheapest place I could find it. It was $90 delivered in Canada. So I don't know where you live. Uh, so it might be a little bit more expensive on shipping or cheaper if you live in the States. But I highly recommend this. An awesome soldering station with a lot of features for not a lot of dollars. It was just an awesome buy and I highly recommend it to anyone. For the quality of the components inside and the actual design of it, it's just well worth it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.